Welcome, I'm a cousin network. Welcome to the channel. First game of the season. Zishaya man. Zishaya man. Zishaya. Two and one was my trap. Zishaya man. Guys, Kaiser Chiefs played. Yo. Guys, the football we played is so interesting. It's so. Look, it's not a finished product. You can see why Navi says he still wants to sign some players here and there. Because you can tell what he. But there's still one or two pieces that are missing in this whole team. And yo, 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 yo. No, before we get into this video, before before Sikulu man gets very far, let's start by saying this. Gaston Serino. Gaston Serino. Ay, 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 ay. Guys, you know if there's one thing I can tell you about today. Is quality is quality, but before we get into that, please like, comment, and subscribe. But anyway, let's let's get to the thing. Gaston Serino is just I thought because um Chiefs is gonna play more fast, etc. I thought Serino is going to be playing on the left the way it has exposed other players like Kieran Dolly, they ended up with injuries, come up billiard and stuff. But with Nabi's kind of play. I will see Reno find pockets to rest and they can take out their talent and they drift into the middle sometimes and then they drift out wide and then Umdu Shabala sometimes switches with Serino and so Nabi's way of playing is the way I've been talking about so for many seasons that what happens is that when we often play a play on the right to pre and he just does this on the left and the right and he just does and the guy ends up tied you don't see that now with this team we're playing there's so many moments where they find rest because of how we build from defense to midfield and how when we without the ball how we move to support each other so there's always like backup and it doesn't there's no this thing where a uh, winger must always go left up and down up and down up and down so from that it was good it was good let me say this um, the game was not perfect, right? When I say it's not perfect, there's a few things here and there that we will we will talk about as the uh, days go, where there were some bobbles here and there. But if we talk about the first half, I feel like the first half was our best half. And Dusha Balala, I I said it uh, yesterday when I made my video. I said Mdu has to play number ten. That is his best position. And I said if Mdu's number ten, Sirino must play on the left. I didn't know he would start Saile, and I I kind of understand why he started Saile. Saile's pace, right? What happens is that Saile's pace forces the right back of the other team to stay further back. He can't support his le the, the, the left back of the other team. He can't support his, right, his left wing. And when that happens, it means less chances of um, that guy, the left, the, um, the one side being overloaded, which is why what Saile brings, because he has too much pace. When Onfundo came, you started seeing that the left back was starting to go, too, was starting to go high up. But at the end of the day, that is actually the reason why um, Fundo Villagas actually got the goal in the end because that left back was kind of out of position and the ball found um, Fundo Villagas free. But other than that, there are, there are a few talking points. We all know that this team, for me, the most worrying thing about Keza Chiefs right now is how good Serino is. Keza Chiefs, then, Keza Chiefs level of quality is here. Serino is up here. Sirino, the gap between Sirino and the next player is so far, guys. Yo, yo, Sirino makes us tick. Sirino finds the pass. Sirino finds the player. Sirino dribbles one. He says, drop, drop the shoulder. Sirino unlocks so many passes. Do Shabalala's goal. Who is it? Sirino. Sirino gave that assist that went over the top and Do Shabalala found it. I know people have been saying Bradley Cross, but for me, it look, definitely looks like Serino. So, there's a lot of things in this game that I saw and I liked. Miguel, let me, let, let me actually start from the back and go upwards, even though I wanted just to touch on the first half. But there's a lot of things that, that come into this game when I break it down one by one. Because my biggest thing in the first half is that the first half we could have been having one that been up at least 3-1. And the second half, we could have scored another two goals. But the biggest thing, I don't want to make it the big, the thing that I'm going to highlight the most. But I enjoyed how Ranga played today. He had very good moments, etc. And I feel Ranga will score some goals. 
But the one thing I will say about Ranga is that he had a lot of chances. Ranga Chivavero had a lot of chances and today Murumo Gailand was meant to at least get two goals from Ranga Chivavero. Ranga had a lot of chances and for me that is the worrying, the one one part that worried me the most is Ranga. Um, how many chances he missed but at the same time he played such a good part in the system. He's not this thing of him dropping too far deep. He was by the box a lot of the time so he will get his goals. But in terms of the starting lineup, all the players did well um, in the first half. The only player who was not um, who was a bit shaky was Saile. Saile was just not. He was the only one in this team from the first half to the second half who just didn't look like he fit into the system. It was very weird. Like Usaile, everyone, everything on the left functioned so well, but the the right was. Dead, Baba. The right was feely, feely, fee, 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 fee. Because Saile was not doing enough. And then it it just didn't look right on. Like if our weakest, if we have to pick our weakest side on the field, it was when Saile was there. Yes, a lot of us will look at Mfundo Villagaz's goal and say his goal shows that there's potential on the right. But even because of how the second half was going, we didn't get to see enough of the right where Mfundo was playing. We only saw him for the goal, but besides the goal, there wasn't much, enough creativity coming from the right-hand side. The right-hand side was very dead for me. But um, but then the other player, uh, Bradley Cross, for me, had a very good game. Very good game. Uh, solid header. Mm -hmm. Solid placement of the ball. Uh, Dortley had a... a he, he's that calm pl player, so very comfortable on the ball. Very calm. He's not the person who gets rushed easily. Miguel is a leader and a half. A leader, but... Yeah, when I, when I hit my chest like this, I say Miguel is a leader. Miguel, there was a point when Miguel was arguing with Muhango. And Muhango, you could see good eye. He, Muhango was like, I must not argue with this guy. This guy has it in trailer. Because Muhango was, was shouting at him and, and Miguel was like, what, 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 what? And then uh, Muhango ended up being like, I, I'm not going to compete with this guy. This guy got your shiny man. So Miguel is a proper lead. I saw Miguel's quote. Miguel, I like him. I like Miguel so much. I like him. The one thing I didn't like about this game is how many yellow cards we got. That part I don't like. It's going to affect us in the games to come. So that part was not so great. Right back, Fr Frostler played well. But like I mentioned, our right was very dead. There wasn't enough creativity. Cross didn't go up and do the whole overlapping side. But he was finding the players. What what the difference between what i like about cross that i don't like about frostler too much now is that cross passes the ball most of the times on the ground and he can find abom dushabalala and stuff what frostler does that makes it difficult for abom dushabalala is that frostler likes kicking the ball in the air and and he kicks it into space whereas cross likes finding the player Cross likes finding you at your feet, where Frostler likes hitting you into space, but the ball is always in the air. So that's the one thing that may even have affected Saile, because Saile was not really getting too many balls on the run. He was often being forced to create, and you know Saile and creating is not his, his best thing. And the thing is that Frostler and I was tumbering over. So that's the one side of the game that just didn't look the best. Um, our goalkeeper, uh, Fika and, and Duari, fumbled three balls, I think, that I saw. He fumbled three balls where they took a shot. He grabbed it, it got out of his hands, and he had to grab it again. I will take this to say maybe it was because it was raining, so he had not um, um, taken that into account. So he just never handled the ball firmly as I would like. I wanted him to just grab it and... And the ball dies in his hand. But he would grab it, it would punyuga, then you would have to jump on it again. And then I'm like, hey, on another day, someone fagas um points, it's a goal. So there's that. And the weather did play a part in this game. I think the wet weather played in the hands for Morumo Gallant. Because 
cheese plates when we started you could see that the rain was something they didn't plan for they were slipping they were falling every time they were trying to take a shot someone was slipping and falling so the rain did play a factor in how we didn't play our game in the very first half and just just in general we didn't play it i think the way they wanted to they didn't anticipate the rain because I think it was slippery the field was too slippery at some point at some point they were it was they were just not as comfortable so maybe with an even better field we will see an even better cheese so for me that's a plus another thing um says uh, our middle was good matt actually had a decent game even though I enjoy knowing that Serino is there. I enjoy knowing that Zwane is there and those kind of players because if Matt just gives the ball to the people who must do the business, then I don't have a problem with Matt. But Matt, when he tries to pass people, sometimes that is where you see the old Matt. But one thing I will praise Matt about is that we didn't see the old Matt as much in this game. He actually had a solid game. He was marking. He was finding the simple pass releasing the ball to the player and going and stuff so that was good um some kind of one needs to up his game the boy just is mind his mind i think some kind of one's biggest problem is love it's not good he, his talent his talent he has the talent but some kind of one's problem is here he just disappears in the game he just becomes casual in the game and he just starts making useless things, just doing useless things. But then when he does the right thing, you like some girl, keep doing the right thing, boy. But then hey, you know some girl or sometime. And Mdu was actually one of my best players today. Mdu and Serino were actually such a good combination. Yo, they were terrorizing those defenders. I like what Mdu was doing, and he scored a fantastic goal, fantastic goal. And then I think the point I'm going to emphasize now is rounding up how I viewed Nabi's game. Nabi's game is attack. I'm going to count how Nabi attacks. Set pieces, Nabi expects you to score. How many chances did we get in set pieces to score? Set pieces, Nabi trained set pieces. One thing we've been complaining about since last season, Nabi trained set pieces. Do you know how many chances we got today with set pieces? We could have scored three goals with set pieces because of quality set pieces. Um, the next one is we attack, guys. We, we don't, you know, this thing of playing with the ball at the back is not a cheese game. I One thing I saw from today's game, this thing of, hey, possession, we play the ball at the back. Nah, Chiefs is an attack team. Chiefs attacks, guys. Like, they find a way to attack. I don't know how to explain it, but... We don't do this thing of we're only going to play at the back and then we're going to move from phase one to phase two. Chiefs can get to phase three in one pass. Chiefs can get to phase into the final third with two or three passes. And they're not these passes that are always hitting the air. It's passes that are on the ground. The ones that are in the air or maybe those ones that chip one player here over to the next one. So one thing about Nabi. Nabi's game is based around creating the most chances in a game and utilizing as many chances as possible. Because how many chances did we create today? I think we had like about six clear-cut chances in this game, maybe even more, and we put two in the net. Sirino was meant to score a goal. Mdu Shabalala, before Mfundo, Mfundo Vilagazi scored, Mdu Shabalala had a very easy goal to shoot and he, he just he missed the target. Um, Ranga Chivavero, we know, Baba, he, he missed quite a few chances, but he was doing the right things, which I liked about Ranga. So I can't fault Ranga too much, but he has to put the ball in the net because there's, there were so many moments in this game where we just needed him to... Hit, hit the target, put the ball in the net. And like, yeah, so that's the our how we played. But other than that, I'm going to break down our game more and more as the day goes. So this is my initial reaction where I'm just, I'm excited, I'm gathering my thoughts. But it's good, guys. Nabi Ball is here and Nabi Ball is fire. But at the same time, Nabi Ball also showed some holes here and there. We can't say nice things all the time, J and J and J. Nabi's ball showed some holes here and there. The defenders still sometimes sleep 
at the back those kind of small anyana errors were still happening um misplaced passes were still happening but i know it's still early days and as the boys get more and more match fitness these mistakes i feel will get smaller and smaller and smaller but the fact that we went from one nil down and scored two goals it shows good character um and then the last parting shot i want to say i mentioned it about the yellow cards Today we actually have to say we are lucky. Serino's close line hitting someone in the neck, technically that could have been a red card. So we're lucky and our players are getting silly yellow cards. They they it's like they're so passionate about this team that they then go and get silly yellow, yellow cards. Like our cross get yellow cards for kicking the ball away. Like you know those things that those are necessary yellow cards. So I just I love their passion, but sometimes I'm worried about their passion just going over their heads and them doing something stupid. So other than that, well done, I'm a cause. My cause it's hanging jail, guys. It's hanging jail, my cause. It's hanging jail. We are top of the log right now. Next, we are top of the log. The number one. We are top of the log. Pencil. Pencil. I'm a cause.